New at 5.30, a space mission from Virginia is hoping to uncover the mysteries behind next week's solar eclipse. Only on 13 News Now, Alex Little Health takes us behind the scenes and shows us the final preparations for a NASA flight set to take off in just a couple of days. Behind the gates where rockets take flight on Virginia's eastern shore, scientists count down the days. So you can see how large the forgings are, how thick that diameter is. To make their final adjustments. At NASA's Wallops Flight Facility, rocket launches are commonplace. But the mission next Monday is rare even for scientists like Dr. Aro Bergetia. They just burn out. So these rockets are unlike the rocket lab or SpaceX rockets, which, you know, start slowly. They just go. While most of us will be looking up at Monday's eclipse, NASA scientists will instead look at the phenomenon as a rare opportunity. It's a total from launch to splashdown 600 seconds, so about 10 minutes total. A NASA mission to send three sounding rockets into the ionosphere. The ionosphere is the atmospheric layer almost 100 miles above our heads that guides radio and satellite communications across the planet. The question they want answered is what happens to our environment when the moon blocks out the sun even for just a couple minutes. With all that is still unknown about our universe, can scientists learn a little more next Monday? Yeah, everybody uses a cell phone, right? We're using GPS all the time, and everybody just kind of thinks, oh, these things work perfectly all the time. NASA hopes this rocket holds the key to at least some of those answers. Monday's launch will be the first time NASA has launched sounding rockets during an eclipse on Wallops Island since 1970. On the Eastern Shore, I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now. Well, on Monday, ABC will air a two hour special on the eclipse with National Geographic. Just tune in right here to 13 News Now at 2 p.m.